Hello again, lovely people. I got a little sidetracked from coding and I wanted to share with you a tiny little hardware project I'm definitely going to add to Nova. So as a lot of you may recall, I at one time had a current sensor in her to keep track of the servos. If they maxed out or drew too much amperage, we would know there was an issue and I would have her shut down or act accordingly. Um, but thanks to YTFP Chris, he made a comment last week about thermistors for the motors. And he was speaking of thin filmed thermistors, but I really couldn't find ones that made me happy enough. So I went with these cheapo 3D printer ones that just have the little end as the sensor. I'm not sure if you can see that, but it's actually capped with some kind of sealant. I have no idea what it is. Or epoxy. And then a high temp piece of covering on the wire there. So I am going to attach those to my new servos for now, the four of those. And I've already gone ahead and breadboarded and tested it on the Nano. I decided to add it to the Nano circuit rather than put more stuff on the Teensy. So right now, yes, it's all working pretty cool. And I've coded it in the remote, so if you're on mode 5... Then I'm going to make the buttons up here give you feedback. So right now I have the temperature, an actual average temperature. Right now I have two sensors set up, but I'm going to put four. Um, so it does the average amongst all four and gives it back. And then if I grab a lighter here, so they're just at ambient room temperature right now. It's about 74 degrees. But if I go ahead and add a little heat to one of them, you'll see Nova reacts and says, uh-oh, the left front, well, I got these wires reversed. This should be over here. Is at 125 degrees, 135 degrees, 118 degrees. See, it's dropping because the lighter is off of it now. So I think that's pretty cool, right? We'll display all four temps of the motors there. And I'll figure out at what temperature is danger, which means one of two things. Either your feet are locked and keeping the leg like that when it is really straining to come back to here but can't because of the surface you're walking on, which happens on carpet more than anything, um, and also any, any rubbery surface because the feet do tend to stick and keep her like that again when she's trying to go like this so that'll help a lot uh, my lighting just went off sorry about that guys okay so there I just wanted to share that with you all I am probably going to roll it into the next code release along with her walking gates so stay tuned hopefully that's coming this weekend thanks for watching guys like share and subscribe